If getting traffic to your affiliate offers is a problem for you, getting the right traffic, then you definitely want to watch this video until the very end because I'm going to show you how to get seven of my proven and tested traffic sources that get leads and sales for affiliate marketers. So what is going on guys? Great to see you here on this video. Make sure in the comments that you say hello. But my channel here is all about making money online. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button if you want to see videos about that. So we're gonna dive into my seven sources, traffic sources that I'm gonna give you so that you can get good quality traffic to whatever you are promoting to create leads and sales. But you're gonna have to stick around until the very end of the video in order to get that. But I definitely want to talk about some of the things that people don't do first in order to get the right type of traffic to their affiliate offers. And it really starts out with vendors now of course there are several different ways to get traffic right you can use facebook ads you can use instagram ads youtube ads stuff like that but that's not what i'm talking about because you have to have a certain type of skill set in order to get those types of advertising leads and things of that nature what i'm talking about is like different vendors perhaps solo ads right people do not ask the right questions to get the right vendors to get the right traffic to their offers. So I am gonna break down four things, four things that you need to talk about with people who you are actually buying traffic from. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is doing your research on these vendors before you give them your money. I've seen so many people get scammed because they just don't know the person that they're giving money to to get leads from. So I always like to give the example of before you go out on a date, with someone I mean you check out something about them you know to make sure they aren't a rapist or you know they aren't gonna kidnap you and, and take you to God knows where right well you want to do the same type of due diligence with your vendors before you give them your money so that you can get clicks so how do you do this you know how do you research well first of all they must have a website if they do not have a website then I mean we can't do business why because someone who isn't a professional will always have a website will always show their face on the website will always have information on prices and also will have testimonials so you always want to check for a website you want to make sure that they also are on social media Facebook Instagram YouTube Twitter somewhere and you want to check that account to make sure their social media account picture also matches the person on the website okay so when you look at the website you're gonna look at these different testimonials as well and you want to see what type of testimonials are they like do they look choreographed or do they look like they're from real people like you and also what are they saying are they saying that they're getting leads are they getting sales right and also listen to the type of offer that they are promoting if it's something similar to the offer that you are promoting then that is great because that means that that vendors traffic is more than likely going to like your type of offer because they're similar okay so when you're doing your research you got to make sure you find out a little bit about the person, the vendor, before you decide to lie in bed with this vendor, give this vendor your money and have them run off. Really simple, really easy to do, but most people don't do it. And because they don't do it, they lose a not a lot of money. Finding the percentage of tier one traffic they are going to guarantee. Now, just in case you don't know where tier one traffic is, tier one traffic is traffic or people that are going to be looking at your ad that come from countries that usually buy, you know, online opportunity type of offers. OK, so we're talking about the United States. We're talking about United Kingdom, New Zealand, Canada and Australia. Any type of traffic outside of those countries it's iffy because most people don't really purchase affiliate offers that aren't one of those five countries so you want to know what is the percentage of top tier traffic 
the vendor is going to guarantee and you want it to be somewhere around 85 ish percent obviously the more the better but at the very least you want it to be 85 percent because you don't want your money to be going to people who don't buy your type of offers it just doesn't make any sense okay it's just like offering steak to a vegan there is no chance that the vegan is going to eat the steak so if you're sending your money to people to look at your offers and they don't buy those types of offers online, then there's no chance, right? And you're wasting your money. So make sure you find out and, and communicate with your vendor to find out what percentage of top tier traffic can they actually guarantee. Can you write your own copy? Now, whenever you are working with a vendor and they're going to send your offer to their email list, a lot of times they like to write, you know, their own copy or words, okay? Copy is words or text. And when they use their own copy, you have no clue of what they're saying or whether it is congruent with your offer. So say for instance, if the vendor is writing uh, an email about dogs, but your offer is about cats, there is no congruency here so people might look at your offer, but they're not going to be interested in, in, in it at all because it isn't congruent with what the email that the vendor wrote is about. So you want to make sure that you write your own copy because you want your email that goes to those people to be congruent with whatever your offer is inside of your funnel. Now, if you're liking this, if you're enjoying what I'm giving you right now, definitely like this video, Hey, share it out, leave me a comment and let me know. And of course, if you want my seven proven and tested traffic sources that will get you leads and sales, what I want you to do is click on the link below so that you can be taken to that and get that download, okay? Now let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. You want to make sure that you know how long it's going to take for your vendor to deliver the amount of clicks that you're paying for. Um, I've seen a lot of people get gypped because uh, their vendor takes forever to deliver their clicks. And, and when it takes a long time, maybe more than one or two days to deliver maybe anywhere from 100 to maybe 900 clicks or so, less than a thousand, then that probably means that the vendor's list isn't large enough, okay? And they're probably trying to replenish their list of people. And that's a problem for you. It should not take longer than 24 to 48 hours to deliver clicks that's less than 1,000 clicks. So you wanna ask that question ahead of time because you wanna know, because now that I've told you, you know that if you order 200 clicks and they say it's gonna take four days, then you know that that is not a vendor that you want to work with. If it's more than a thousand clicks that you're ordering, then it should take a couple days. But anything less than a thousand clicks, guys, it should not take that long. So when you're asking these questions, you're getting information to find out, is this a reputable vendor that you want to work with? Is this, is this the type of vendor that you trust, okay, giving your money to, to give you the right type of traffic? That's why you want to ask these questions before you give your money. And that's why so many people lose their money. They don't get the right type of traffic. But with the traffic sources that I'm going to give you, when you click on the link below, these are already tested and proven traffic sources, okay? These are traffic sources that I've actually used. And I've built my email list from zero to 14,000 within seven months, okay? So I have a clue of what I'm doing. Now, the last question that you want to ask your vendor is, when was the last time you sent your list my offer? So what you wanna do ahead of time is, you want to send your offer to your vendor. And you wanna ask your vendor, how long has it been since you, since you sent traffic to this offer? Now I'm gonna tell you why this is important. It's important because you don't want to send the same offer to a list that could have seen your very same offer from a different person within two and a half weeks. Because if they've already seen it, they're not gonna be interested in opting into your funnel, which means your conversion, your opt-in rate is gonna be low. And then again, you spent your money or wasted your money 
for nothing. So you want it to be at least two and a half weeks or more that your vendor has sent traffic to your specific offer. That is so important. And here's the thing. If you don't know, don't if you don't do research, you really don't know, right? If they've if they're lying to you or if they're telling the truth. That's why it's so important for you to ask all of these qualifying questions so you can tell if you can trust the the vendor or not. And I'm going to tell you when you first talk to a vendor, do not purchase a lot of clicks. Purchase 200. See how it goes, right? And then if you get a great result then maybe test them out again with another 200 but you want to vet them first okay so these are all and that was actually number five but these are all the different questions that you want to ask to make sure that you are maximizing okay your money and really just minimizing your risk when it comes to getting traffic from different vendors now if you are interested in grabbing my seven proven and tested traffic sources that lead to leads and sales there's going to be a link in the description below go ahead click on that enter in your email address and then I will send you the download or the PDF to your email address hey guys if you like this video if you got some valuable information that's going to help you in your business from this video what I want you to do first of all is click the like button on this video share it out leave me a comment okay let me know what you like most about it or maybe what questions you haven't been asking but you may you for sure are going to ask now and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the bell notification button so that you will see the next video that I come out with till the next time guys